Over the years, I've reviewed over a hundred boots. Eventually, I knew it was gonna be time to get an engineer boot. So I decided to pick up the Mac Daddy, the Wesco Mr. Lou. I've been wearing them for three months and I have to say they're my favorite boots right now. Yes, after reviewing a hundred pairs, the Wesco Mr. Lou is my favorite, at least right now, but that always changes. I'm gonna go into detail on this boot, discuss what I like, what I don't like, and ultimately whether or not the Wesco Mr. Lou is right for you. Let's start off and talk about the style. I thought my new Wesco engineer boots would look bulky, but the Mr. Lou is surprisingly trim and sleek. The shaft opening isn't much wider than my leg, so it actually allows me to wear these boots with my straight cut and tapered jeans. This was welcome news for me because those types of pants are all I really have. They fit into my wardrobe naturally and I love the style. Engineer boots are a bit unusual. You don't see many people wearing them out and about, but when I'm wearing them under my jeans, I don't really feel like they look wild or out of place. They almost have a bit of toned down western boot look to them. Of course you have the solid brass buckle peeking out of the bottom of the pant leg, which gives these boots a really distinctive style. Wesco actually offers two engineer boots. There's the Boss and the Mr. Lou. The Boss is the original Wesco engineer, and compared to the Mr. Lou, they have a much more rounded toe and a wider, slightly taller shaft. Overall, you could say that the Wesco Boss is a beefier boot that's designed more for work or for motorcycle riding. The Mr. Lou isn't a dainty boot in comparison by, by any means, but it has a sleeker and lower toe box. The biggest difference between the two is the more narrow circumference of the shaft, with the Mr. Lou. The Mr. Lou fits well under a pair of tapered jeans, which isn't the case for the Boss. The two boots are quite similar looking, just from a first glance. You could easily miss the differences if you were just glancing at them, but I'd say the Boss is a better boot if you wear relaxed fit jeans or if you're planning on getting engineers for work or riding. In my case, I'm wearing my engineer boots primarily for style, so the Mr. Lou was the better choice for me. I picked my Mr. Lou's up in Horween Brown Chrome Excel leather. I really love this color. It has some red undertones to it, and the leather has a lot of richness and depth. It's a pull-up leather, so it really doesn't require too much care. I haven't oiled or treated the leather yet in the first three months of wearing them, and I doubt I'll touch these boots with anything until they're about a year or so old. I've been noticing that some of the areas that are getting worn in more are turning a bit lighter, especially around the toe and the heel. What I love about Horrorwing Chrome Excel is that I could easily restore that color back to original if I wanted. Personally, I like the dynamic color and the variation, so I'm leaving it, but if you wanted to keep your leather boots looking as good as new, you could probably just rub that area with your thumb and restore the leather just like that. Or if that didn't work with the Horrorwing Chrome Excel, then a little Venetian leather bomb would definitely freshen it up. I've had plenty of Chrome Excel boots in the past, but there's something special about the hide that Wesco has selected. The boot is unlined, and I love feeling that reversed rough outside of the grain. Overall, in the first three months of wearing these boots, I'm liking how the leather is creasing, rolling, and aging. In my opinion, they look even better than when I first tried them on. Wesco uses a Dr. Sole rubber half sole and heel, and this is my first experience with that brand of sole. The heel is stacked leather, and the top lift, or the heel cap, is an inch thick, which is incredible. Only my Knicks and Whites approach that level of rubber in the heel. You know, I think I must walk strangely because I always tend to wear down the outside of the heel first and it kind of gets this like weird slant to it. So that's why I love having an inch of rubber there. It basically means it's gonna take several years, maybe in like four or five years, given how often I'm wearing my boots before I need to get that heel replaced. And I think that heel, it's gonna give so much longevity to the whole boot as a whole before I have to do anything to it. Now, Dr. Soul is a boot lover's soul. The founder of Dr. Soul was inspired by Cat Spa brand, which is an infamous defunct brand that's beloved in the boot community. I haven't personally tried a Cat's Paw outsole, but I've heard that it's great quality, but not necessarily better than what you can find with Vibram or other popular outsole brands. But Dr. Soul has more intricate and unique sole designs that are crafted specifically to tailor to high-end boots like Wesco, Viberg, and NYX. I mainly love that the heel is so thick and it feels great when impacting the ground. The insole is thick oak tan leather and so is the heel stack, so it's quite durable and should continue to compress for several more months months and get even more comfortable. That said, these boots were comfortable right away. The Mr. Lou is built with a double row stitch down construction. Compared to my Knicks and Whites, the flange of the leather around the sides, it's a lot less prominent, which I like from a style perspective. I ordered a size 10D in these boots, which is a half size smaller than my Brannock size. I ordered a size 10D in these boots, which is a half size smaller than my Brannock reading, and they fit perfectly. I have the same size in my Red Wing Iron Rangers, Grant Stone, Truman, Knicks, Whites, and just about every other boot in my collection, with the exception of those brands that are more true to the Brannock devices. The one issue I've noticed is that I still get some heel slippage when I wear thinner socks. I think this has to do with the insole still breaking in as it's gotten less noticeable over time. So the heel is a bit wider than on other brands, but not so much to where I think you need a different size than usual. Wesco offers both D and E widths, and I'm sure you could email them and see if they'd be able to do something wider, like a triple E if you have very wide feet. It's been three months since I've had the Mr. Lou, and I think I'm still breaking them in. That said, these boots have been comfortable since I first put them on. 
on. The Horring Chrome Excel leather is very supple and forgiving, and it quickly expanded in the areas where it was fitting a bit snug. I'm talking about like the very first wear, it expanded to the point where it was comfortable. As I said, I do still have a little bit of heel slip, and that's going away more slowly because of the thick leather insole. But as I continue to break in the insole, the heel slip is diminishing. I'd say that the break-in period for the Wesco Mr. Lou isn't a challenge. While it's taking longer for these boots to feel like a custom fit, it's really easy to wear them all day long and walk as much as I need to in a given day. The one alternative I suggest to the Wesco Mr. Lou is the NYX Renegade. And the reason I might choose NYX over another pair of Wesco engineers in the future is because of the level of customization you can get with NYX. If you know a thing or two about boots and want to build your very own engineer, the Renegade is a great option for you. You have a choice of over 30 different leather options. You have heel heights, shaft height, outsole type, heel profile, and more customization options. The level of detail you can customize here is incredible. On the downside, it'll probably take the better part of a year before your boots actually arrive at your door when you're shopping with NYX and go on the custom route. The Wesco Mr. Lou is a fantastic boot, but it's just one of many of the most amazing American boots. If you wanna see what those are, you can check out that video right there. I'll see you in that video. Until next time, put your best boot forward.